Hi guys, I'm here with uh, Jim De Stefano from uh, DW. He is going to uh, take us uh, on a in deep tour of the new machine direct drive pedal that correct. you've just uh, introduced this January. That's correct. Ma'am. So, please tell us about this uh, awesome looking pedal. Great. Well, thanks for having me, Nikola. I appreciate it. This is, as you just mentioned, this is our first direct drive pedal that we've had under the DW brand. Okay. So a couple of the features, obviously it maintains a lot of the look or a similar look on the footboard anyways to our typical DW pedals. Obviously with the drilled out features of the, of the bass drum pedal, we made it look a little more stealth, if you will, okay? But the heart of the pedal, what's, what's, what's interesting about this is literally the title of it explains it all. It is all machined and it's a direct drive pedal. It's machined out of aluminum, aircraft aluminum, okay, or aircraft grade aluminum, okay? So all these pieces come in solid block aluminum and then they're basically cored out okay why that's important is for strength you get you get lightweight uh lightweight but yet with very good uh solid construction okay so one of the things that we looked at when we began this pedal was that we've had we, we've been very fortunate and had very good success with our bass drum pedals over the years, right? 5,000, the original 5,000 chain was one of the mainstays of pedals, and then we came out with the 9,000 with, you know, um, with the free-floating rotor. So we took some of those features from that pedal and put it on here. So we, we, we think that we kept the best of that pedal, of the nine, and put it onto this, okay? Some of those features include the free-floating rotor here, okay? Um, our pivoting spring, if you look here, it's not a fixed. It's it's basically a fixed to the post, but it pivots, okay? And then our toe clamp, which I'll turn the pedal around here to show. Our toe clamp, which as we discussed previously, we have a tri-pivot toe clamp on our five and our 9,000. We took that same feature in aluminum here, and, and one of the other features here is that also pivots back and forth here, okay? Why that's important is if you're playing on an uneven surface, the back of your pedal will still stay flat. It's a way to basically anchor the pedal to your hoop and still have it lay flat. If you're on an uneven surface, sometimes that will pull up the back end. This will allow it to basically seat itself, okay? One other interesting feature of this is if you're playing a double pedal, if you're playing a double, and you want to have your beaters equidistance off of center, you can slide this off the hoop a taste, so your one pedal is, is a taste off of center, and your second beater will be a taste off center, so they will be equidistance from the center point, if you like to do that, okay? To give you the same, to give you the same feel and, and Yeah, and, the more, head. And, and also sound, and also sound, but feel too, agree, yes, okay? So some of the other features, of course, the biggest thing here is the direct drive linkage, okay? Um, but uh, some of the adjustment points are very interesting. I'll turn it around again to show this, but um, on all of our pedals, and the traditional way that you adjust a spring is you, you go to the spring area, you kind of kind of cinch up the washer, you pull down the, the spring, and then you tighten it up, okay? What we did on this one is we made an adjustment here. So you can actually adjust your pedal tension, your spring tension, right from here. And I think another helpful thing that we have here on the side of the pedal is we have gauges. So you know exactly, as I tighten this down, as I move this, you'd be able to see the line, see the line moving here. See that moving there? And so you can gauge exactly to where where your pedal, where, where you like your pedal tension. It'll come with a factory setting and those will be marked. And then this way, if you wanna, if you wanna do your own adjustment, you do your own adjustment, okay? One of the other features here is you can adjust the pedal, the, the throwing action of the pedal, okay, or where it throws from simply here, as you can see as I turn in and out here, let me loosen, so you can see here how I'm moving the, the positioning here from all the way back, all the way frontward to all the way back. So let's just say this is where you like your pedal adjustment, you tighten this down, your beater throw let's call it, okay, now if you like that, right, but when you move this, when you move this, so does your pedal board move, okay? So that's where th this comes in, is, is we came up with an adjustment to the height of the footboard, okay? So you can now move this up and down independently of the throw of the beater, okay? So again, just another feature, right? So you, you kind of re-innovated 
How, think, how many how many uh, options the drummer has to to accommodate this uh, pedal into his own style? Very much so, and I think especially with a direct drive pedal, very slight changes in any of these settings make tremendous difference in the feel of the pedal. So if you like your footboard raised up higher and you like your beater throw back, right? Historically, if you move the beater throw, it's attached to the pedal. So that's going to make the pedal move, okay? Um, this lets it be an independent, an independent adjustment. One last thing to show you on the adjustments, and that is over here. And this will also make a big difference in the feel of the pedal too. As I slide this up or down, you can see how that makes an adjustment difference on where the linkage basically sits here. See this? I'm raising and raising up and down the linkage. Do you, can you see that? Go here one time. Show you here. So this can be raised up and down too. Okay. In general, in general, the higher the higher the setting on this, the more you're relying on a direct drive. Okay. Uh, the lower it feel it, it starts to feel more like more like a chain drive pedal, but it's adjustable, so it's it's flexible, okay? Some of the other features, just real quickly, obviously we've got our non-skid rubber ba base, okay, which I think is really important. We went from Velcro a couple years ago, right? And with Velcro, Velcro's great because it won't move, right? But if you're on a rug and you're playing a gig and you need to move because the bass player's in the way or something, right? You gotta haul up the whole thing. So we went to this non-skid rubber bottom, which makes a big difference. It's not going anywhere once you once you set your weight on it. It's not going anywhere. So that's that. Obviously, the we already talked about the toe clamp, but where it adjusts is from the side, right? So ergonomically easier to get to, easier to make your easier to make your attachment and your and your and your uh, unattachment. I'll call it. Okay. Detachment. Yeah, there you go. Detachment. Thank you. Thank you. What right. struck me uh, design-wise was uh, that you always recognize a DW pedal from uh, from the series number uh, engraved into the footboard. Absolutely. Was it a hard decision on on you <laughs> to, to to design a pedal without Nikolai, any number? Because Nikolai. I was I was just looking. <laughs> what what series? What what series yeah, is exactly. it? Exactly. Uh, I'm not. I'm yeah, not where seeing is it? it. Where is it? That's Nikolai. That's a great question. We talked for a long time about this, and because because it doesn't have our typical chain chain drive sprocket if you will we decided that in this case by naming it machine direct drive it accomplished two things number one it set it apart because it's an all machine pedal and number two by having you know mdd right machine direct drive by having that in the title there's no mistaking which model of dw pedal this is that that's why we did it there was absolutely consideration of do we do do we do a 10,000 pedal a 10k? And we decided that machine direct drive was the best thing because it simply explained what the pedal was. So that's that. Last couple things real quickly. Um, you'll notice that the beater it is a very interesting proposition here. It has a self-aligning head. Okay, so it has a self-aligning head. So basically, once you strike the drum, it'll align. It won't move from there. It won't be floppy. It'll just it'll just be consistent on your on your bass drum head. But more importantly. The, the direct drive pedal will come with several different striking surfaces, okay? If you look at the double over here for a second, we have a flat plastic surface, okay? And then we have more of a spherical um, felt, okay? And then there's almost a flat felt, okay? All three striking the drum will give you a completely different sort of tone, right? I mean, you know from playing, if you use a plastic beater, you get a lot of that thwack, but not, maybe, maybe not as warm or maybe not as punchy, you know what I'm saying? Maybe a lot of thwack, a lot of attack, but maybe not as warm. Last feature of this is, is very interesting, and that is when you're talking about a direct drive pedal, the weight of the beater is extremely crucial because, again, with the direct linkage to the footboard, okay, to your to your hub casting here, makes a huge difference if you, if you put a standard beater in here, okay? So what we did here is this, again, with the different playing surfaces, which you could just you could just take on and take off, right? Screw on and screw off. Has Each beater will have four weights, okay? Four weights. And what these do is, these will weight the pedal differently, obviously, depending on how many you put in. So if you have as many as four, you're gonna have the heaviest setting possible for this pedal. If you take it out and you go down to two, roughly half is, half is heavy, okay? That's a very personal thing as far as the setting goes, but 
what it's what what seems to be happening here is the guys who are like playing the speed stuff with the direct drive pedals tend to like the the fewer weights in here, maybe one weight. Okay, but it's again, it's very personal preference. But certainly, when you when you when you when you go and throw kind of throw your weight on the pedal, you'll feel huge differences by the number of weights that are in the in the in the beater. Okay. And I think, I think we pretty much covered it. Um, but we're really excited about it, Nikolai. We appreciate you, you know, asking us about it at the show this year. It's brand new for 2014. It's the DW Machine Direct Drive pedals, both in the single and the double. And we look forward to everybody checking them out and getting their thoughts on them. Thank you very much. Yeah, pleasure to meet you.